Hello everybody, Ryan here once again, and in this video, I'm going to be covering how you can block adverts in Windows 11. So, one of the more controversial changes that Microsoft made in Windows 11 was the option to include adverts for their Microsoft services such as OneDrive or even the Microsoft Game Pass, as well as the annoying constant prompt for you to sign in with your Microsoft account. Now, personally, I do make use of Microsoft services. I use OneDrive for my cloud backup, and my wife uses Microsoft Office since she's a teacher at a local school. However, in many cases, you might find that you have no interest in using Microsoft services whatsoever, and you just want to prevent any annoying adverts from appearing. Now, luckily, this is incredibly easy to do, it's fully reversible, and doesn't require any script, registry edits, or even applying group policy, so it should work on Windows 11 Professional, as well as the home version of Windows. So the first adverts we're going to remove are the ones that appear in File Explorer, which is typically used to try to promote Microsoft OneDrive. So to do that, you want to first open up File Explorer. Once that's open, click on the three dots at the top, go to Options, go to the View tab, and about halfway down, you'll see there's an option here where it says Show Sync Providers Notifications. You want to make sure that that's unticked. Once you've done that, click OK. And once that's done, you'll no longer get any adverts within the File Explorer. The second thing we're going to do is fine tune some information that's collected from your machine by Microsoft that could potentially be used to save you adverts, depending on how you use your computer. And whilst we're here as well, we're also going to disable any adverts from appearing on the lock screen. So first we need to open up the settings application. From here, we want to click on where it says personalization on the side, and then scroll down to the section where it says device usage. So on this particular page, you want to make sure that you've toggled all of these to off. So once we've done that, we want to go back again to personalization. Only this time we want to click on where it says lock screen and untick this option here where it says get fun facts, tips, tricks and more on your lock screen. And the final thing we're going to do is disable adverts that may appear as suggested content. And this is typically seen when you open up the settings applications or in particular when you click on the accounts panel. And we're also going to prevent adverts from being generated by any diagnostic data that's been collected. So once again, we need to open up the settings application. This time we're going to go to privacy and security, and then we're going to click on the general section. And what we want to do is untick the option here where it says, let apps show me personalized ads by using my advertiser ID. Make sure that that's set to off. Once we've done that, let's go back to the privacy and security tab again. Right, this time we're going to click on where it says diagnostics and feedback. I'm going to click on where it says tailored experiences and you want to make sure you've disabled this option here where it says let Microsoft use your diagnostic data excluding info about websites blah 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 blah. Set that off. Now once this has all been done you should no longer see any further adverts though like anything Microsoft may re-enable these options after a major update. But either way that's it. So in conclusion Windows 11's not exactly the worst defender for pushing adverts through. I'm looking at you on that one, Google. But I still do find it annoying that I have to manually disable all this telemetry just to prevent adverts from appearing in the first place. As always, thank you very much for watching this quick video. And if you did find this video helpful, then please don't forget to leave a like. And if you like what I do, don't forget to click that subscribe button to see more content like this in the future. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.